Now, to integrate this one, um, this is a cubic. You can't factor and cancel. You can't divide everything by x plus 5. That won't help you. So there's a technique of long division, which is actually useful. Um, you might not like it, but it works. So x plus 5, and you're going to divide x cubed plus 0x squared minus 6x minus 20. Now remember, you have to have 1 for every term. So I need to put a 0 for the x squared because I still need that piece. OK. So how we do long division again, what times x gives us x to the third? That would be x squared. And then you go x squared times x gives us x to the third. And x squared times 5 gives us 5x squared. And then we subtract down. Bam, it's gone. A lot of people mess up because they don't subtract down. They make that a positive 5x cubed. OK. Now, I messed up. That should be a squared. So we, that's a squared. Now, I want 5x squared from the x. So what do we multiply x by to get this? It would be minus 5x. So negative 5x times x is negative 5x squared. And negative 5x times 5 is negative 25x. Bam. Gone. OK, subtract down. Easy to mess up, but this is 19x minus 20. And what would that be? Well, what times x gives us 19? It looks like 19. So 19 times that is 19x. And 19 times 5 is great. 20 times 5 is 100, so 5 less than 100 is 95. And again, you're going to subtract down. It looks like your remainder, bam, your remainder is going to be what? 115, negative 115. Now, all that, here's why you're doing it. This is kind of interesting, but this is what it's going to look like. Ready for this. Here it goes. That's your answer. Not answer. Plus the remainder. Or since it's a minus, it's going to be 115 over x plus 5 dx. You get that. When you do long division, what happens is you end up with this with the remainder of this over this. And that's the new equation. You're rewriting the equation in a different form. Now, you can integrate that. Let's integrate that. What's the integral of 2x? Of x squared? Ah, that's the answer. <laughs> 2x. No, it's not 2x. It's x cubed over 3. Have you ever derived when you should integrate? Yeah. Happens a lot. <laughs> OK. And then the integral of negative 5x is negative 5x squared over 2. <coughs> and then the integral of 19 is 19 over 19x. Bad day for me. All right. And then this last one, I'm just going to do this for a second. Because we this one might take a little bit more thinking. Is that okay? So for this last piece, do you understand I could pull out the 115 out? And then I have 1 over this, correct? Wouldn't u be x plus 5? And when you derive that, does it change anything? Are you OK with that? Is this going to do anything when you derive that for u substitution? If I make u equals x plus 5, what's du going to be? Isn't it just dx? So what you'll notice here, rewrite these. You 
right at the front. This is negative 115. But, can you move this out? What's the derivative of 1 over u? It's just ln. So it's going to be ln, absolute value, and what's x? What's u? x plus 5. Plus e. Nice, pretty answer. Favorite thing to look at. And this is your power. Crazy, huh? It's a negative 115 power. Don't worry about that. But that is would be the answer.